Hi, my name is Zebra with Zoom, and today I will be showing you how to set up motion detect triggers with snapshot with the LS NVR and the LS series cameras. So as you can see, I have an NVR here, and I have one camera pulled up. So the first thing you want to do is right-click, go to main menu. Let's go ahead and log in. Once we're in main menu, we are going to go to event. Under event, we're going to click on video detect. Under video detect, we'll select motion detect. And under motion detect, we'll select the channel that we're going to be working on. In this example, I'm going to be working on channel 3. The first thing we want to do is enable that channel. Under region, here is where you'll get to set up your motion. Um, certain areas you would want to get motion detect from and certain areas you wouldn't want to get motion detect from. So for example, anything that's in red is anything that's going to be triggered. So if it's not, it doesn't have, if it doesn't have the little red squares on it, it's not going to be triggered. So I'm just going to do some random modifications. Now, if I put my mouse towards the top of the screen, I get this little pop-up screen. This lets me change the sensitivity and the threshold. This will affect the way um, your motion triggers come in. So if you're, you're getting too much triggers, too many notifications, you may need to modify sensitivity. If you're not getting enough, you might need to modify the sensitivity or the threshold. Um, we do not have certain numbers that that we can give you and be like, yes, this is going to work because every, every scenario is different. Every job is different. So depending on the job, you will need to play with these numbers and find the right numbers for that job set. So going back, in this bottom portion, you can see show message. Show message only means that anytime there's motion triggered or anything that triggers the camera, you're going to get a message on your monitor letting you know that there is motion. Um, all we need to have selected is record channel and snapshot. Go ahead and click apply and OK. Now we are going to go to storage. Under storage, we'll click on schedule. And then the schedule, we'll click on REC for record. This is the record plan that your NVR is currently on. By default, it's going to be continuous. Now you can either set it up to be continuous and also be motion. What this does is that when there's motion detected on the continuous recording, it'll mark it down with the yellow yellow mark on the playback letting you know that there's motion detected on that on that certain point so we're going to change here the check mark from continuous we're going to change it to motion and here on the first Sunday on the first gear we're going to click on the gear and to set up motion and continuous at the same time we, all we have to do is click motion make sure we have both these checked click all and okay and as you can see both of the bars are yellow and I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that but if you just want to set up motion and not to be in continuous, just uncheck continuous, select on, click OK, and the bars are going to be yellow. So I'm going to set it back. And over here on snapshot, once we're done here, make sure we click apply. And on snapshot, we got to change it to motion. So we're going to uncheck continuous and check motion. And we're going to, real quick, we have to make sure we are on the correct channel that we're making these changes and this is a very very important step or else it will not work so clicking back on the gear we're going to click motion uncheck continuous select all okay and click apply and i'm going to go back to record and i set this one on the wrong channel so i have to go to channel three and the same thing check motion go to gear select motion and i'm just going to have both of them and click all and OK. Now once that I have all of this, I'm going to click Apply and OK. And I'm just going to go back and verify that everything was successful. So channel 3, it looks right. And snapshot on channel 3, it looks right. So now that is it. That is how you set up motion triggers on the NVR side. Now I will show you how to set up triggers on the app. The first thing you want to do is click the top three lines going across on the left hand side of the screen, the top left hand side of the screen. This will open up some options. Under these options, you will select Alarm Manager. Under Alarm Manager, you will select Push Config at the bottom, and you would see your device. In my case, my device is testing NVR, and I will click on Close. Once clicking on Close, I'm going to turn on my device, and this will open up some more options. Once I open up those options, I will select on Motion Detect, and select the camera that I set these options on. You may have more than one, depending on how many you you'd set up on the NVR. In my case, I only have one, which is camera three. 
And yes, I do have two camera fours, but I know three cameras down is camera three. So I will select it and go back. Once I select my camera and go back, I will select on push type. On the push type, I have three options, live preview, video, and image. Live preview, it gives you a live view of your cameras that was triggered by motion. Video, it gives you a 10 second video of the motion that triggered your cameras. And image, it gives you a series of snapshot pictures of the image that was triggered. Now, for this example, I will select image and now I will go back and click the blue check mark on the top right hand side to save the settings. As you can see, it no longer shows close and I am done. Now I will lock my device and show you all how the triggers work. Now I'll be waiting for the notification. I'm going to do some motion on that camera for me to get, as you can see, it was super fast. It was a fast notification. It gave me that there on the device name channel and there's a motion it gives me the date and the time so i'm going to slide and i'm going to view it i'm going to click on it it's going to open up the app and it's going to give me a series of snapshots of what motion was detected so you can see you can see my hand movement right there also here this is the live view so you can see my hand right now and right here this is a preview recording it gives you like a good 10 second video of the motion that was detected in case you want to see the actual footage there goes my hand that triggered the notification and that is it. I hope this video helps you out. Thanks for watching.